An alpha male would be a male with high degrees of leadership skills and low levels of insecurity. This means that anyone who thinks in terms of alpha would be, by definition, not an alpha male. If you are comparing your ranking to someone else's, you are insecure. This is why the concept has the most traction with people who are very insecure. It is also why completely ridiculous arguments will break out among the people who absolutely and completely buy into this notion, such as whether to eat soy or wear cargo shorts, or the benefits of an all-raw meat diet. The concept of an alpha male isn't some real category of human, but rather a collection of stereotypes. Again this is all based on insecurity, and so it tends to be about that which men are most insecure about. Wealth, fitness, aggression, sexual conquest, etc. None of which actually denotes real leadership skills. It's also because they don't really even understand the concept of an alpha in nature. Basically writer L. David Meck wrote a book about captive wolves called, Naturally. The wolf which was about pack formation among unrelated wolves just haphazardly thrown together in a zoo, which was itself based on wildly untrue theories about wolf behavior at the time. Since then Meck has denounced the entire concept of an alpha, because it wasn't in any sense accurate. But the concept stuck around. In nature, the actual alpha animal gets there because they take care of everyone, not because they dominate them. In chimpanzee tribes, if the leader is ruling through aggression rather than community building, well everyone bands together and topples him. The results can be pretty gruesome, and then there are bonobos who use homosexual sex to increase their social status. There are wolves who started this whole thing. The pack leaders are almost always the mother and father wolves, literally parenting the rest of the pack. And part of being a successful pack is that the strong support the weak. All the concepts of an alpha male are basically just pseudoscience, taking outdated ideas about animal behavior and transposing them onto human behavior. It does not transpose well, and what skills that animals who have social rank value such as good parenting, community building, and making everyone happy to determine that social ranking are for some reason completely ignored by those people promoting the pseudoscience theories. If anything they promote the exact traits that cause packs to break up and chimpanzees to perform a coup. Definitions of alpha males come from the animal kingdom, and more specifically from apes. And while humans do have an animal nature, they are incredibly more complex and advanced. And thus the term does not fully apply to them. There are other more suitable terms to use for humans instead. Physical description of a human alpha male. By definition, when the term alpha male is used for humans, it points to physical qualities. More specifically, it can be brought down to the following. High sex drive, related to the levels of secretion of hormones, specifically high testosterone, and human growth hormone. Good physical fitness, by having a resilient build. A good immune system, specific physical characteristics, such as long height, deep voice, chiseled jaw, heavy brow. These characteristics may be attractive for females. When it comes to the reproduction of the species, perhaps due to some hard-coded instruction in the human genome. Hence the alpha males tend to be preferred more for reproduction than others. Behavioral description of a human alpha male. The term is also used for humans to explain certain qualities of their behavior, not all of which are about sex. The alpha male starter pack is a list of behaviors. Paying for a woman's dinner on the first date. Being a leader who decides, without seeking the approval of other leaders. Not gossiping about others' failings and weaknesses, acting immediately and decisively in situations of crisis, instead of panicking, taking responsibility for own actions, being truthful, not lying, acting like a gentleman to go ahead instead of betraying others, taking on fights wherever needed, but not bullying others. Personally, I would argue that all of the above characteristics are the effects of having a high level of secretion of growth hormone and in my view from this respect. Alpha male. In short, means a man with a lot of HGH. That is why some people are naturally alpha, cause they have high test and HGH due to good genetics. I use the term alpha in my videos and title, but it's more of a slang word than literally. However, I think that people in business and leading positions who use this term about themselves are embarrassing themselves. And it always makes me smirk when I read such statements. It sounds as if they are saying that they have a big stick or they sleep with their employees. Not sophisticated. They could certainly describe themselves differently to avoid this confusion. 